Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve this problem from lengths. It is limit x tending to 0 secant 4x minus secant 2x divided by secant 3x minus secant x. So I hope at least you have the idea. First of all give it a try. At least 1 to true chances give to yourself. Uh, whether you are able to solve this or not. After that, I will come to the solution. Now, uh, if we want to find this limit, so first thing, secant is there. So secant is 1 upon cos. So we can do that. So this is limit x tending to 0. 1 upon cos 4x minus 1 upon cos 2x divided by 1 upon cos 3x minus 1 upon cos x. Now, limit x tending to 0 cos 2x minus cos 4x divided by cos 4x cos 2x whole divided by again here you will get cos x minus cos 3x divided by cos x cos 3x now what we can do so limit x tending to 0 we can write this as cos 2x minus cos 4x divided by cos 4x cos 2x and whatever is in denominator can come in numerator just we have to flip so this will be into cos x cos 3x divided by cos x minus cos 3x so this is limit x tending to 0. I want to write the this terms cos 2x minus cos 4x divided by cos x minus cos 3x together and cos x cos 3x divided by cos 4x cos 2x together cos c minus cos d i hope you all know cos c minus cos d is minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 so this is limit x tending to 0 now cos c minus cos d so minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 so 6x by 2 is 3x sin c minus d by 2 now 2x minus 4x is minus 2x minus 2x divided by 2 is minus x so sin of minus x will come divided by Again here minus 2 sin x plus 3x 4x divided by 2 is 2x sin x minus 3x is minus 2x divided by 2. So both of them uh, minus 2x divided by 2 is minus x. I uh, Let's write this term then we'll decide cos x cos 3x cos 4x cos 2x now sin of minus x is minus sin x you can do that but why not cancel it like this only and cancel this minus sin also cancel this 2 also fine now uh, we have cancelled this out what as we can do is we have sin 3x we have sin 2x 
now you know uh, one formula that limit x tending to 0 sin mx divided by mx is 1 so limit x tending to 0 sin 3x divide by 1x and uh, you have in denominator sin 2x now because I have divided by 1x I will have to multiply by 1x also in order to maintain now sin 3x by it will need 3 so divide by 3 and multiply by 3 this needs 2 so multiply by 2 and divide by 2 fine now this limit x uh, because the thing is that you can always take this 2x down okay uh, below sin 2x and limit can go in uh, numerator and denominator also let me show you uh, let's take this like this whatever is happening I am showing forget about constant let's focus currently on this so this is limit extending to 0 I can write this as sin 3x divided by sin 3x and divided by limit x tending to 0 this sin 2x is there and this I can uh, bring in denominator okay this is also one this is also one okay so from here you are getting one uh, let's remove this so and also we have this cos x cos 3x divided by cos 4x cos x as I told you this is going to give you 1 this sorry in this entire limit is going to give you 1 so 3 by 2 times what you are getting from limit is 1 okay now limit of a product can be written as product of two limit so I can write this as limit x tending to 0 cos x cos 3x divided by cos 4x cos 2x just I did one thing I gave limit to both this term and this term because they were in product so I can give limit to both now if you put 0 here so 1 into 1 divided by 1 into 1 you are going to get 1 only so your final answer will be 3 by 2 times 1 times 1 this is going to give you 3 by 2 only. so I think uh, this was not a problem for you you know secant is 1 upon cos you know this formula rest everything was as easy as you can the algebra of limit is there if limit of a product is there that can be written as product of two limit and the second property you can take constant out you can move limit to numerator and denominator both these are some algebra of unit which you must have studied uh, while studying the topic of limit so that's it from my side do share this video to your friend watch my playlist on limits and uh, that's it keep solving maths thanks and have a nice day